Hello, I'm Sarah with Central Virginia Battlefields Trust, and I am out here at McClaw's Wedge, which is a 99-acre tract of land that Central Virginia Battlefields Trust saved in 1998. The land is now held by the National Park Service, so it is saved forever, preserved as hallowed ground battlefield as part of the Chancellorsville Battlefield. And there is a one mile interpretive trail out here. So we're gonna go ahead and do the trail and I'll show you a few spots along the way. And it looks like there's some crops growing out here. Usually the fields are planted, um, but there's always a cut trail that you'll be able to follow. There's usually printed interpretive brochures at the beginning of the trail, or you can also find that same brochure on the National Park website to download. So let's get started and we'll look at some Chancellorsville history and this beautiful piece of land that CVBT was able to save in 1998. Okay, so just to help kind of orient where we are, the direction that you are looking right now is toward Route 3, and beyond the woods, farther back, is going to be the Chancellor House site, so the crossroads. Now we're gonna slightly turn and get you facing back toward the parking area from a claws wedge. And beyond that set of trees, if we could see with a bird's eye view, would be the first day Chancellorsville Battlefield site, which CVBT also helped to preserve. We worked with American Battlefield Trust on that project. And this land that we're on right now, McClaw's Wedge, saw significant fighting on the first day of Chancellorsville. And we're gonna drop down into a lower area and this is just a great way to see how topography could influence a battle. Hopefully you're seeing some of the um, high ground, low ground that I'm able to see. Um, hopefully it's coming through on the video but a really great opportunity to come out and see how topography can make a big difference in how a battle unfolds. All right, so we have gained the high ground, crossed the field. I realize that it is quite shadowed the way it's appearing in the video, so maybe I will be able to lighten it when I'm editing, but it might be kind of hard to see the topography because of how the light is. So you'll just have to come out and visit at some point in time. But let's, uh, we're gonna walk this ridge line following the trail and then off to my right is the tree line and in there um, you're going to have the union lines fighting all through this area. If you are a Nelson Miles fan, his uh, wounding at the Battle of Chancellorsville occurred out here in this area and don't worry, we've got a Confederate leader trivia coming up in just a couple minutes. So we're going to walk the top of the ridge line here and then head back across the field to the Confederate lines again. Okay, looking back toward the ridge line where the Union position was, and we are now on the far side of the field, kind of in the middle, circling back toward the Confederate position over there. All right, so we are back on the Confederate side of the field, and it was near this position that uh, General Robert E. Lee watch some of the attacks on May 3rd, 1863, which was the day that the Confederates drove Union Corps 
into retreat toward the river. And from this area, Lee would go to the Chancellor House clearing in what many historians feel was one of his finest moments, definitely his finest victory of the Civil War. And this would have been an approximate location where he would have spent part of the day as his troops were fighting toward that victory. So that wraps up today's tour at McClaw's Wedge. I know it was just a bit of a walk around showing you the scenery. Um, there's a lot more to explore, but in an effort to keep the video on the shorter side, um, we had to cut down a little bit of that information. So I hope you'll have the opportunity to come out here and walk the trail for yourself, see this wonderful track of land, explore more of the history here and its interpretation. If you're coming in the warmer months, watch out for snakes. I did see one when I was hiking. Sorry, I didn't take a video of it. I tend to just scurry the other way when I find reptiles like that. So um, that's gonna wrap up our walk, uh, mile trail loop here at McClaw's Wedge. Thanks for joining me. And if you're interested in learning more about Central Virginia Battlefields Trust, our preservation victories in the past, like McClaw's Wedge, and the preservation of battlefields that we're working on today, please visit our website, which is www.cvbt.org. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.